Well, you can't really go that far these days online and on social media without seeing one aesthetic just about everywhere, and that is coquette. What is coquette? Well, the definition of coquette is a flirty woman who knows how to flatter and manipulate people with her charms in order to get what she wants. Coquette is a flirty, soft, hyperfeminine style which references the Regency era. It's romantic and nostalgic. Lana Del Rey is a big icon of this aesthetic and I would even say that Bridgerton has a lot of impact in popularizing this aesthetic. Lots of lace, silk, and soft textiles are embraced and because of that, crochet is the perfect art form to embrace this aesthetic. So in this video, I will be sharing 25 coquette crochet patterns and I'll be separating them into five different categories, accessories, tops, sweaters, bags, and bows. And make sure to subscribe and join me each week on Tuesdays and sometimes on Saturdays as I share crochet inspiration, tutorials, thrift hauls, and occasionally behind the scenes look at running my fiber art business. Now first, I'll share some accessory patterns with you. First is this beautiful lace headband by Barefoot Life Art. This piece measures 15 inches or 38 centimeters in length by 2.5 inches or 6.5 centimeters in width and uses basic stitches as well as the picot and shell stitch to create. And I really like how this piece has a really delicate yet simple design to it. Or stay warm and embrace coquette with this Love Balaclava by Mermaid's Yarns. This piece has three different sizes and uses basic stitches as you only need to know how to chain, substitch, and work a single crochet. There are plenty of photos and graphics to assist with creating it. And this pattern uses the tapestry method to execute the graphic design. Make something cutesy like this hard sleep mask by Bella Coco. The completed size is 23 centimeters by nine centimeters. To make it, you just need to know how to chain single crochet and single crochet two together in US terms. But the pattern does use UK terms. To create it, you work the mask vertically, creating that heart design, and then chain one at the beginning of each row, which does not count as a stitch. It is made of two panels, which helps with blocking out the light. And for this one, there's a right-handed and a left-handed tutorial video, which is really helpful. Keep your hands warm, but remain cute with some fingerless gloves like these ones by Azora's Shop. This is a made-to-measure pattern, which is cool if you're making it for yourself, and it uses basic stitches as well as the single crochet in the back loop only and half double crochet in the back loop only. And I really liked the ruffles on this one and you should definitely add that bow to really execute the coquette aesthetic. Or make a lace headband like this one by Made by Coral. It's made with basic stitches and was rated an intermediate level pattern, but has lots of pictures so you could definitely tackle it if you're a confident beginner. So if you want a really nice lacy accessory, this is a really perfect one to make. All right, now I'll share some coquette tops and blouse patterns with you. First is this Quiet Moon Top by Azora Shop. This one is made to measure and is perfect for advanced beginners or intermediate level. The neckline screams coquette to me as well as the bows and the little edging with an accent color. And this top is reversible, which is also really fun. You could also make the Amanda Top by Crochet Corner PH. This one is made to measure as well and the special stitches are the popcorn stitch and the textured lemon peel stitch, which creates that lovely 3D heart and flower details here. The ribbon details really execute that coquette style as well. And this pattern's really customizable because you can make it either a tube top, a basic top, a peplum, or into a dress. Here's another fun top you can make by Azora Shop. This one is made to measure as well and makes a perfect layering piece to add a coquette charm to your outfit with those nice bow details. And I think the use of mohair here really makes it look more lacy and delicate and definitely flirty. Or make a crop top like the I Heart You Top by Crochet with Carrie. This piece includes sizes small to 2XL and it uses Friends Wheel Yarn by Hobby. And the great thing here is you can customize the length of the crop. There's nothing that screams coquette more than bows, so here's a bow top called Astana's Top by the crocheting. It's perfect to wear as is for hot summer weather or can be used as a layering piece during other seasons. It's made with adjustable straps. They also have the option of having a video tutorial for this one if you find it helpful on their website. 
Layering sweaters or cardigans on top of flowery, flowy, or flirty dresses is another really perfect way of executing coquette aesthetic. So now I'll share some sweater crochet patterns with you. First is the Big Bow Cardigan by Interweave. This project is beginner friendly and has a built-in scarf that can be tied into a bow. The jacket is constructed from side to side starting with the right sleeve and the sleeves are worked without shaping. There is an asymmetrical closure that adds a bit of interest and the pattern has sizes extra small to extra large. And I feel like this one in pink or red really executes that coquette aesthetic. Or I like this big bow cardigan by Knits and Knots. This pattern includes sizes extra small to 5XL and it's mainly created by working the moss stitch where you single crochet and chain one in each row and each row alternates so that the single crochet is in the chain one space of the previous row. To make it, you create the two separate back pieces, then join to create the back cut out, and then the front sweater is worked into two symmetrical sections to make the V-neck that is then joined at the base of that V. Then you seam the sides and work the sleeves from the bottom up, join in the rounds, and seam them to the body. Then the bow is worked last, and then sewn across the cutout on the lower back. And although this pattern was specifically made with the holiday season in mind, I definitely feel like this one has a coquette vibe for sure, and even is perfect for Valentine's Day. This bow blouse Madonna sweater by TS Crochet Design is also cozy and elegant. This pattern is beginner friendly and is in multiple languages and has sizes extra small to 5XL. I also thought that this one was really versatile. You can dress it up or down depending on the occasion. You can also make the Blocks and Bows cardigan by Catter Crochet. This pattern is made to measure and is size inclusive as a result since you can make it to specifically fit you. It can also be customized to either be thick and fluffy or thinner depending on the look that you're wanting to go for. And to customize the thickness, you would just substitute out the yarn depending on what look you're wanting to go for. Another great coquette cardigan is this Evie cardigan by The Crocheting, which is a lovely flowy cardigan with a bow applique. This one has lots of sizing options and gauge assistance as well as a detailed instruction for assembly. So if you're a beginner, this one would be a really nice one to create. Or I also like this graphic All My Heart Jumper by Anna D. This one's a bit more intermediate and I really love the graphic heart design here. And this one would be a really nice one to make, especially with Valentine's Day around the corner for sure. All right, now I'm gonna share some coquette bag crochet patterns with you. First is the Bow Pochette Purse by Drea Crochet's shop. This pattern includes picture guides as well as written instructions and is advanced beginner or intermediate level to make. The finished bag measures 6.5 inches by 10 inches with a 25 inch long strap. And this one would be really perfect in either pink pastels or red or cream or beige to execute that coquette look or it'd be great to make a big bow bag by Devout Hand Studio. The stitches that are used are the double crochet, slip stitch, and half double crochet increase and decrease. To construct it, you make two panels, front and back, and one long strap that'll be used to attach the two panels together and to create a big bow. And this one can be worn either as a tote bag or a crossbody bag. A really popular bag I've seen just about everywhere on Pinterest is this Cinta bag by Kelly X Studio. This pattern is beginner friendly and has step-by-step -step instructions with pictures and videos. And I really like this one because it laces up kind of similar to a corset, so it's nice and flirty. This next one is so fun. It's the bow bag, which is from the Material Girl zine from the March-April 2023 edition. To create it, they made the ribbon, then tied it into a bow. Then they crocheted around it to create the large square, which is really clever and they connected two panels together with a strap. And I really like the Material Girl zines just for inspiration in general for crochet, as well as for knitting if you knit. So if you wanna check that out, head to the link in the description box below where I have all the links for all of the patterns as well as for the direct link to this specific pattern from this zine. 
or make the flower pouch by Ellie's Plushies. To make this pouch, you use the Tunisian crochet stitch, which is why I said it's a bit more of an intermediate pattern to make, but if you're a confident beginner, it could definitely be a good one to level up your skills on. I absolutely love the delicate little flower details on this one. And this pattern also has lots of helpful video links to assist with explaining this pattern. And now I'll share a few crochet bow patterns with you. And these are perfect to just whip up and you can even add them to already made crochet items that you wanna add a little coquette flair to. First are these crochet bows by Lil Ellis. The great thing is this pattern includes three different sizes and the small one is about three by two centimeters. The medium one is 4.5 by three centimeters and the large is five centimeters by 3.5 centimeters. This pattern is in English as well as in Hungarian and uses the slip stitch, chain and single crochet to create. And there are a lot of pictures as well as a video tutorial to help with creating these. Or make a big bow like this one by Repeat Crafter Me. It measures nine inches long by seven inches tall and just uses basic stitches to create. And this one has lots of photos and a video tutorial as well. Or make a more 3D bow like this one by Maisie and Ruth. It measures five inches or 12.5 centimeters by 2.5 inches or 6.25 centimeters and just uses basic stitches to make. And this one will be perfect to add to your crochet makes to give it a nice dramatic charm. And this curly fun bow by Not Badami is also cute to make. The pattern includes three different sizes that measure three, four, and five inches wide. And they're all made in the same way, so you could even make the bow bigger or smaller and adjust the sizes you like by simply making increase or decrease rows. Well, I hope you enjoyed my collection of 25 coquette crochet patterns to make. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe and join me each week on Tuesdays and occasionally Saturdays. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter if you want an update on all things happening here behind the scenes at Cactus Lady Creation, as well as upcoming events and occasional lives maybe soon here in the future. Well, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.